All right, folks, and welcome to Seven Season Studios. This tutorial is how to use our flare brushes in your art to create some really cool reflections, how to augment your photos and your work in Affinity Designer. These brushes are available on Affinity Graphics at the link down below. And as always, from Affinity Graphics and from Seven Season Studios, all of the tools that are used in these tutorials are 100% free. So download them, and then let's go ahead and roll those credits and get into the tutorial. All right, and welcome to Seven Season Studios. We're doing more with Affinity Photo. Now, this lesson is all gonna be about how to use the flare brush to really do some cool things. The flare brush download, again, is available down below. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna take this photo, which has kind of a sunrise, but is totally jacked up, and I'm gonna show you how to turn it into something like this. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing we're gonna do is, this is in your downloads, this is a nondescript type of parking lot that I found at one of the factories that I was touring here in the Midwest. And so I really liked this photo because it shows the sunrise, but the sunrise is completely washed out. And this entire foreground, because it was so dark and so underexposed, is going to be hard to bring back. So I thought it was the perfect challenge to get started. So the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna come over and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna duplicate my background. And I'm gonna turn off my original and I lock it. All right, so I got this background. Now, when you do landscape, you want the foreground to be lighter than the background. So that's step one. So let's go ahead and add an adjustment layer. I'm gonna go ahead and add a curves adjustment layer. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these blacks and I'm going to move them up until it's quite light. So I'm gonna take the darks and I'm gonna move them up, crush the blacks a little bit, and I'm gonna take the mid-ground and I'm gonna kind of move it up. All right, that looks good. Now, you can see it doesn't really look good because now I've washed out all of that sunset, but we're going to use a gradient mask. Now, make sure you're on the curves layer, come over to your gradient tool, and remember with gradients, black conceals, white reveals. So what I wanna do is I wanna pull down a gradient, and at the bottom, I wanna come up here, I'm gonna grab the gray, and I'm gonna make it white, because I want the adjustment to be here, but up here where there's white, I wanna make it black. So you see that white circle's a little bigger? Make it black. All right, now I did the wrong thing here. Let's go ahead and flip it around. We'll just do it the easy way. All right, so white circle at the bottom, black circle right at this area. Now let's adjust the slider a little bit. And now you'll see how one simple adjustment of curves made this quite a bit brighter. So my foreground is beginning to take shape. Now it's not perfect yet. The next step, what I have to do, I have to come in with another adjustment layer. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to crank up the levels. Now what the levels are gonna do, it's different than the curve. I'm gonna take the blacks and I'm going to just move the blacks in ever so slightly and you see what that's doing over here. But I'm gonna take these whites now and I'm going to move the whites up substantially. Now you see I'm washing out the background that's fine, because what are we gonna do again? We got this pesky horizon line. Let's put a gradient mask on the level. So gradient mask, pull a gradient mask, and again, where there's gray, let's make it black, because we wanna conceal it. And then we can adjust the slider there to get it kinda of where we want it. Now you see what I've just done. I've made my foreground lighter while keeping the integrity of my background. So that's actually pretty cool. Now, what I'm gonna do now is I want a little bit more contrast and a little more detail and a little more gritty grainy here in the front. So I'm gonna come down and now you don't see a contrast slider here, right? There's nothing really to kind of do that. You could up the contrast this way or you could add in a new live filter layer and you could add in some clarity. What I'm going to do, I'm going to start with my contrast slider. I'm going to crank that up a little bit. Crank up the brightness just slightly. 
all right? And really where I'm focusing here now is on this pavement. I don't want it to be too bright, but I don't want to lose it. And then we're gonna come in with a layer and I'm gonna come in with a new live filter layer and I'm gonna crank up the clarity. Now, what is that gonna do? You can't really see it unless we magnify it out. Let's go ahead and crank up the clarity here. Make sure that it's on top of the brightness filter and you see what that did. Now we got that cranked up pretty high here. I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna crank it just a little bit. All right, now that is clearly differentiated. That's looking good. All right, so now let's focus on this pesky sky here. Now, while this foreground is lighter and I have a good horizon line differentiator, what I want now out of this sky is I want it to be bolder and what I'm gonna consider more saturated. So let's go ahead and add an adjustment layer and let's go ahead and add a hue adjustment here, the HSL, the hue saturation and lightness. And now let's go ahead and crank up the saturation. Now you see what that just did? Boom, you can go crazy on this thing, right? And it turns all shades of blue. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna crank this up a little bit, but I don't want it to apply to my concrete. So how would I ever do this? Well, we could probably create a mask now. You got the HSL, come over to the gradient, start in the middle of the piece here. And now, remember black conceals, white reveals. So let's go ahead and put the gray down here, put the white up here, and let's not even make this gray, let's go ahead and make this black. So choose the gray, choose the black, and now our adjustment only applies to the sky. You see how that works? When in doubt, you can swing it around and you can see that that actually is only adjusting the sky. Now the cool thing is you can do a ton of stuff with this. Let's say I bring up this HSL layer again and I wanna go ahead and I wanna change the sky up a little bit. You see how that's making substantial change to only the sky? So I can add in a little bit of pink. I can crank it down there. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to put a little bit of adjustment onto it. Change up the hue just ever so slightly. All right, that looks pretty good. I'm actually happy with that. Now, here's a huge trick. We're gonna come in, we're gonna do one more adjustment layer and I'm gonna use a lens filter and the filter color that I'm going to use is a red. Now you see, as soon as we did that, what that did to all of our different colors, that actually popped them quite a bit. Okay, so we go red, and I'm gonna crank that up just a little bit. Now you see that's occurring to the whole piece? I don't want that. So how do I put a mask on this filter here? You should have seen this already coming. Gradient layer, go to the horizon line, Boom, let's go ahead and go black toward the bottom, white toward the top, come over to the gray, and let's change it to black. You realize that this lesson is all about gradients, right? So now we're gonna come down here and we're gonna make it real short there. All right, that's looking pretty good. Now I'm gonna come over here. I'm gonna make a little bit more adjustment here. All right. Now, the last thing that I wanna do, I wanna try something. We're gonna try split toning our image. So we got a lot of highlights here. Let's go ahead, crank up the highlights and let's see what we can get done with this here. Oh, that's sexy. That's sexy going over to that red. I really like that. I'm gonna crank down the saturation on that ever so slightly. But you see, I got a really nice differentiation now. I'm quite happy with that. Now let's take a look at the shadows. Let's crank up the shadows and see what we can get. Eh, actually, I'm pretty happy kind of with where I had it here. I think that I'm actually quite thrilled with that. All right, so I think that that's looking pretty good. We're pretty close. Now you see how this is like an eyesore, right? This white part. We're gonna use one of our tools. I'm gonna use the in-painting tool I'm gonna come down to my background because that's where this image resides. And now 
I just have to paint out this image. And just like that, through the magic of editing, boom, gone. All right, perfect. Now we're going to get to add in maybe some dark because I really like this area down here, but I hate this area up here. So how would I ever do this? I'm going to bring up another adjustment layer. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to drop the exposure. I'm going to drop it substantially. Now you see, I just tanked the whole image, but never fear the gradients are here. Come over to the gradient, bring it down just like that. And now where it's gray, make it black because remember black conceals. And now you can kind of put it wherever you want it. All right. You see how I'm able to adjust that gradient out there. All right. Cool. So overall, pretty happy with that now. Now, I really like the dark around here. I really like the fact this is lighter than that. And I really like the saturation in the sky. Let's go ahead now and add our flare brush. Now to do this, I'm going to add a pixel layer. I've added the pixel layer at the top of the stack. And now I'm going to go ahead and minimize this down. And now what I'm going to do, I'm going to come up to my seventh season flare starter pack, and I'm going to choose one of the brushes in the flare starter pack. Now, which one am I going to choose? I really like this one right here. I think that that's solid or I could probably choose. Oh, I like that second one down there. That's actually really nice. Okay. Now I'm going to crank this thing up large and in charge. This is going to be ridiculous. I come over to the color and what I'm going to do, I'm going to add just a tinge of yellow to my color, just a little bit. Now that looks really, really big, right? Really bold. Let's go ahead and drop the flow to probably 50% or so this first time. Okay. Now figure out where you want your focal point. I really want my focal point right here because I want it down in the corner and I really want it on that sunset and then tap it once. Now, boom, instant focal point. Now let's do this. We're going to go ahead and we're going to drop the opacity on the layer. We're going to change the blend mode now to glow. And now it doesn't make much sense that these rays are shooting off into the foreground. That doesn't look really good. So with the pixel layer selected, I'm going to add a mask layer and remember black conceals white reveals. So I'm going to come down to my brush. I'm going to come down to just my basic brush and I'm going to find a soft brush. And then with my black selected, I'm just going to paint out the rays that I don't want anymore. All right, cool. Now, as I get close to this horizon line, I really like the fact that this flare is kind of in the horizon line. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to drop my flow down to almost nothing on my black just so that I don't totally eliminate it. Now that's pretty cool, but it does have some flaws. So let's grab the pixel layer. Let's come up and let's use another live filter layer and let's Gaussian blur this thing. And we're going to blur it out a little bit. That is pretty cool. Make it a little less in your face, let's say. And now let me show you something that's really cool. In this pixel layer, we've done a lot to it. But the reason that I used a yellow tinge is because if you have color, you can adjust the hue. So within this pixel layer, let's put an adjustment layer inside the pixel layer. And let's make it an HSL layer. So you see, I'm moving it inside the pixel layer. And now watch this. Now that our blend mode is set, our opacity is set, and this is where we want it. We can begin to adjust the saturation and such of this layer and some of the hue associated with it. All right. That looks really cool. Now, if these are a little bit big for you, you can always come in with your brush selected again. Make sure your black is selected. And if your opacity and your flow are down, 
you can always mask these things out. Cool. All right, one last thing we're going to do here to make this kind of pop. We're going to come down to the pixel layer. We're going to create a new one. And now you see these lights. We're going to come into the brushes. We're going to pick our Seven Season Studio Flare Starter Pack again. I'm going to zoom in real close here. And you see these lights? It makes sense that they would have a little bit of sparkle to them. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to come in with my paintbrush tool. I'm going to find a flare that I like. I think that's a little bit oval. Okay, I kind of like that one. Uh, let's go with this one. Yeah, there we go. I'm going to left bracket down. And now the color, I'm going to go with a bright white. Let's go ahead and go with a white. Let's actually add a tinge of kind of teal a little bit, just a little bit. All right, cool. And then we're going to pop these bad boys right here. Now, we're not going to worry too much. It's going to be a little overpowering. That's fine. Okay, so now let's go ahead and zip back out into here. And now that's a little overpowering. What we're going to do now, we're going to go ahead and turn those down a little bit. We may even add a little touch of Gaussian blur to that layer. Same thing as we did before. And we can even change the blend modes now on that to more of a screen if we wanted to. So with this selected, come down and we're going to play the blend mode game. All right, overlay looks good. I kind of like the soft light. I think that that's pretty good. All right, so I think that I'm pretty happy overall with that. I really like the look of this, and I think that it added a different level of intensity to the picture. So what I'm showing you here is kind of how to do a basic landscape edit where the foreground is going to be lighter than the background. We've got a good horizon line, and you used a ton of gradient filters in addition to that flare brush. Now, let's go ahead and check our work here real quick. I'm just coming up here. We're going to put the background to the top. And now, we're going to go ahead and before, after, before, after. That is a completely different look to that photo. All right, so I hope you learned a little bit on this one. I know these tutorials take a little bit longer than some of my other stuff, but I want to show you how to use the brushes that are available in the free Flare Starter Pack to do some really cool landscape edits and how to use things like gradients to create some really cool pictures. All right, folks, if you like the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos, don't forget to subscribe. And if you want more free training on Affinity Designer and Affinity Photo, check us out at 7 Season Studios. All right, see you.